Good morning everyone, I hope you're well and I hope that you enjoyed Thursday's video. Um, today I'm bringing you a gentle morning yoga practice that will gently wake up the body and wake up all the muscles that are maybe a bit tight or you know holding tension in them from a night's rest. Um, yeah, so I suppose this particular yoga sequence is for adults but Kids can also do it, it's just that I'm not going to record the video in a playful way like I did with the kids um, yoga video. So I hope that this will help to, I suppose, yeah, iron out those niggles and points in the body where you carry tension. And I hope that, you know, you will see some other benefits from the yoga practice where maybe you notice your breath a bit more throughout the day, having really focused on your breath during this session and also you know that you feel a little bit calmer maybe more present which i would have spoke about in a previous video um you know when we're in nature it helps us to be present but also um when we can focus on our breath and bring our attention out of our mind and into our body then we're very much in the present moment um so i hope you see the benefits of this practice and finally, you know, one of the other main um, benefits of yoga would be that it can hugely positively impact your um, night's sleep. So, you know, the more calm you are during the day and the more present you are with the body and not in the mind and focusing on all the thoughts, um, the more restful a night's sleep you will get. And I suppose the more relaxed the physical body will be. So I hope you see these benefits from this practice. Um, so you can do this in the morning to just wake up the body. Um, you can use a mat like I'm using, or you can just do it even on your bed. Anything that I do here can be done on your bed. Or if you don't have a mat and don't want to do it in your bed, you can just do it on the floor, like on the carpet, or even the ground. It's not maybe ideal, but it's um, maybe the best that's available right now. So just to say, if you haven't practiced yoga before, that it's really important, or equally if you have practiced yoga before, but I suppose what I'm saying is you might have heard this before if you have, it's really important not to exceed your body's limits. So if you feel your body starts to say, oh, don't go, don't go any further, you know, you feel a tweak or a twinge, don't go beyond um, what your body is able to do. And you know, what you may be able to do today might be very different to last week, or equally next week. So just listen to your body and don't exceed your body's limits. That's really, really important. So come out of a posture if you feel that it's pushing your body too far. So I'm gonna begin by laying down on my back. Just wanna make sure that you can see me. Yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna bring the soles of my feet flat onto the mat in as close to my bum as I can and I'll leave my hands out at either side and I'm just going to begin to allow my legs to fall out to the left side of the mat and I'm going to bring my gaze over my right shoulder and I'm going to focus on my breath here for five breaths breathing in through my nose and out really focusing on the breath if you become distracted just coming back to the inhale and the exhale once you've taken five breaths here just bring if you need to use your arm you can to raise your legs back up and then out to the right side and the gaze comes over the left shoulder so this is just a very gentle twist. You can begin to take five breaths here again on this opposite side. This will get the digestive system going, getting those internal organs going as we move them about. And it'll also just stretch along the side body, so along the intercostal muscles and into the hip, in the front of the hip. once you've taken five breaths just coming back to center again 
And then we're going to cross our right ankle over our left knee to find figure four legs. So our legs look like the shape of figure four. Press that right knee away from you. And you begin to feel the stretch into your right hip and glute and maybe even into the groin a little bit. And you can stay there or if you wish to go a little bit deeper, you can clasp your hands around the left shin and then lay back down again and press that up, press that right knee away from you. And just hold there for five breaths. So if you wish to keep that left leg down in the ground, that's okay. Just breathe there for five breaths or you can bring it up like I am now. And hold for five breaths. So you begin to feel a stretch into that right hip, glute, and maybe quite intense if you have your hands up like mine for a reclined pigeon pose. So just imagine as you breathe in that you're filling up that part of the body with air. So the hip and the glute is filling up with air in the inhale and let it go on the exhale. And then releasing the leg back down and the right leg back down. So noticing any difference between the left leg and the right leg here. And then bringing the outside of the left ankle to rest on the right knee. Pressing that left knee away from you. Holding there. And you begin to feel the stretch into your left hip, groin and glute. Or if you wish to go a bit deeper, clasping your hands around the right shin. Laying back down and pressing that left knee away from you. To find reclined pigeon pose. Just opening up that hip, getting rid of any stagnant energy or just releasing the muscles in that area down into the glute. And once you've taken five breaths, can release your hands and lower that left leg back down. And our final stretch here well, on, our, on our backs is that we're gonna inhale our arms up and then we're gonna clasp opposite elbows, bring our right palm to our left elbow and our left palm to our right elbow. And then we're gonna to begin to lower our arms out to the left side, keeping a hold of our elbows so that our left elbow is quite bent and our right arm is straight. And we really feel that stretch into our shoulder and down along the arms. So, so many people hold tension in their shoulders. Once you've held that for five breaths, inhaling back up and exhaling to the opposite side and holding for five breaths. Coming back to your breath any time you become distracted. Focusing on the inhale and the exhale. Anything that needs to be done later can wait. This is your time now to connect with your body. And finally, inhaling the arms back up to centre, releasing the hands down at the side and just come to seated and find a cross-legged position like I was in the beginning. So our second last posture for this morning's gentle wake-up yoga. Bring your palms to your knees. If it's comfortable to sit cross-legged, do. If not, you can just kick your legs out in front if needs be. Roll back the shoulders so that you have a straight spine and begin to lower your right ear towards your right shoulder so that you're stretching along the left side of the neck. Hold that for five breaths. So often we carry tension in the neck and the top of the shoulders. It's where we carry a lot of stress. Then dipping the head in towards the chest for five breaths. And 
And then finally over towards the left shoulder. So that we're stretching into the right side of the neck and along the top of the right shoulder. Tuning into your breath. Noticing how your chest rises on the inhale and falls on the exhale. Once you've taken five breaths, slowly raising your head back up and just notice how your neck and head feels if you wish to take a couple of circles with the neck to go a little bit further, please do. And then we're going to set up for our last posture, which is known as child's pose. It's one of the most uh, popular postures in yoga. So if you come to all fours, coming up onto your knees, if you have any issues with your knees, you can roll a blanket underneath the knees if you need to. And then there's two options with child's pose. So you can take wide legged, bringing your knees out far and wide on the mat, or you can bring them together. If you want a deeper stretch, take your knees wide. So we're going to sit back onto our heels, stretch our arms out in front, just going to put that on my jumper, and then bring our forehead to rest on the mat. If your forehead doesn't come all the way down, that's okay, you can grab a block or a book to place under your forehead or just hold it up as it is. But just try to connect or release the neck muscles and allow the head to hang down. I'm going to stay in child pose for 10 breaths. Closing down the eyes if you haven't done so. Just turning your attention inward. Noticing how your body feels here. It's a very active stretch into the tops of the feet and ankles, the hips up along the spine and into the shoulders and arms. Focusing on your breath. until you counted 10 breaths and then slowly walk your hands back in towards your body press into your palms raise your head back up and release your legs out in front so that's it that is our yoga gentle yoga um, practice for the morning I hope you enjoy it and you can replay this video as many times as you need or like and let me know any feedback in the comments below this post. Thank you.